I'm standing here in front of the Peter Cartwright United Methodist Church in Pleasant Plains, Illinois. Uh, we're going to be discussing Peter Cartwright, dates 1785 to 1872. Uh, Peter Cartwright was a Methodist preacher that came to Illinois very early on uh, in the 1820s. Uh, one of the main reasons he came here was to stop the uh, slavery from being in the Illinois Constitution. Behind me here is uh, the church, uh, one of the ones he built. The original church was built in 1824. Uh, this one was built in 1857. Uh, there's actually a museum inside. Uh, this was the church that Peter Cartwright actually preached from. His pulpit is inside, and next month they will have the annual Peter Cartwright uh, sermon, and they will lay a wreath on his grave that's uh, in a nearby cemetery. Uh, Peter Cartwright was an amazing figure uh, for many reasons, but this church here in, in Pleasant Plains uh, still uses uh, the, the auditorium, still uses his podium and, and many other things that they can remember. His uh, daughter's cabin is nearby. There are several cemeteries where a lot of the Cartwrights are also buried. Uh, and again, uh, the people here in Pleasant Plains have not forgotten Peter Cartwright and his what he brought to uh, Illinois, especially with the, the pioneer introduction to bringing people and spreading the word of Christ. Uh, so uh, if you read my paper, I'll discuss a lot more about this legendary frontier preacher that had many nicknames, a very colorful uh, preacher. He was known as the fighting preacher, among many other things. So uh, enjoy. I also wanted to show you uh, Peter Cartwright's grave. This is only a, uh, about a mile and a half from the church in the Peter Cartwright Cemetery. Uh, this is his gravestone, Reverend P. Cartwright, D.D. Uh, it's interesting, and I get in that in the paper, that he did not like the title of Doctor of Divinity. Um, and actually kind of poked fun at some folks who got that honorary title. And he was given that honorary title by McKendree College. And from, uh, from that time forth, about 1845 on, he always put D.D. at the end of his, his name and signature. And people called him Doctor from then, from then on. Uh, so... Hope you enjoy this. Here in Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield. This is 16 miles away from where we were just at in Pleasant Plains. And behind me up the hill is the gravesite of Abraham Lincoln and his family. I just wanted to show you how close to, together those two were. It's interesting that they were antagonists for most of their lives uh, and, and they're buried about 15 to 16 miles away from each other.